All right, welcome back everyone to uh, Let's Play uh, Fallout Tactics uh, with Dogbog from Breaking the Street. And um, when we last left off, we uh, took out Martin, uh, killed up a bunch of people there, lost uh, Ice, our, um, our sniper and outdoorsman. So we'll be looking for a replacement for her. Um, we saved the Deathclaw Queen, so now we should have access to Deathclaws. Uh, and so when we get back to the bunker, I'm going to uh, go ahead and check out what that looks like. And uh, I'll do the shopping and everything like normal, and we'll see you back then. All right, we'll see you soon. All right, I'm back. So, um, yeah, what I did was uh, I went back to the base. I accidentally shot uh, Stitch a little bit. Um, and, uh, yeah, just kind of traded out gear, did the swapping and selling, kind of restocked everybody. Uh, I'm turning Lorak into the next sniper here for just the meantime. Uh, he will eventually get big guns, and I think I'll replace uh, Lorak as we uh, get a little bit closer to, like, level 12. Um, I'm debating whether or not to take Babs out of the party or keep her in. I think we're going to keep her in for right now, uh, just because she does have that lockpick skill, and nobody on the ro roster right now has availability to get that. Uh, so I'm going to keep her in uh, for the meantime, but I might replace her in the next mission. Uh, Stitch, I upped his outdoorsman with his skill points that he had sitting around. Upped his outdoorsman to 109%. Uh, percent. So I uh, just kind of left it there for now. And he's level 8, so I wanted to kind of uh, bank his skill points from this point on uh, for level 12. So when we get tag, uh, we can grab that. Uh, I did grab uh, Babs's perk. Uh, there is a particular perk I think I want her to get, but uh, at the same rate, I don't know... I, I may choose a different perk for her uh, moving forward, but um, it, it, I didn't do that. And the other thing here is I grabbed toughness for uh, Lorac just to make sure that he can survive a hit or two. So now he's at a 50% nearly uh, damage resistance, 45. Uh, so it's pretty solid. Um, I w went and stopped back at the town of Quincy uh, and found something I left behind over there in an abandoned church. And it was a suit of Mark II uh, metal armor. Uh, and so now Lorac is kind of geared up with that. So he's, he's kind of looking good there. Uh, so... I grabbed this Deathclaw uh, by the name of Mother. This is actually the Deathclaw we saved, I believe. Um, maybe not. Uh, but either way, uh, she she's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, so she does less melee damage than the other Deathclaws, apparently. Uh, but she still has a 3% uh, damage bonus, relatively uh, speaking. Uh, but then on top of that, she's actually more resistant to all damage. Uh, giving a 15% bonus to all resistances except fire. So that's going to be really useful because uh, Deathclaws can't wear armor, uh, but they do have 174 hit points, which is what this Brutish Hulk does, is uh, gains, uh, what, double the normal amount of maximum hit points uh, per level. So instead of gaining like a random um, amount of hit points or anything like that, she actually would just gain maximum doubled and it's it shows she has 174 whereas like the other people on the team have like 81 so she's going to be useful here the 174 though as you saw from like trevor and some of the other um episodes uh he would do like 150 damage with that burst fire shotgun and uh martin and so this goes really quick that's where this damage resistance is going to help uh, quite a bit but man 75 percent poison resistance rad resistance uh, 11 action points 325 carry weight just um, amazing uh and then i i put uh brian back in uh instead of trevor uh just because i wanted to have access to the big gun skill early uh and so before the tag we could get access to big guns uh and that's going to be i think beneficial um and then last but not least, old Stumpy here, uh, I gave him additional traps and I upped his small guns a little bit so he could shoot uh, just a little bit better. And so that's kind of where we are. Um, I tried to get home without the, uh, being my outdoorsman, it, but it took me about 15 minutes to go like one square, uh, just kind of hitting every encounter along the way. So I just, I raised it. <laughs> We're just without a tag or anything like that. Um, yeah. So, uh, without further ado, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk to Barnaki here. He's going to tell us to meet him at the next uh, place, and then we'll, uh, I'll see you there. Again, we are victorious, but we cannot rest on our laurels. 
The time has come again to shift our operations to the new bunker. Take your squad and rendezvous with us there. All right. So, yeah, I'll go and uh, rendezvous with them at the new bunker. I'll see you over there. And with their swollen numbers, they find this. themselves coming closer to the ultimate goal. The time to expand is now. Leaving an outpost behind, the warriors begin moving westward into a region known as the Belt. It is a scarred and desolate land, filled with death and the relics of a time before. Those who dwell here have scraped together a bleak existence, built on blood and grim determination. These isolated people are as hard as any in the wasteland. Pressuring these people to join the ranks of the Brotherhood will not be easy. Many will not understand the Brotherhood's glorious vision to reunite the people. Some resistance is expected. While the inhabitants are dangerous, the land itself has the power to stir up fearful memories in some of the generals and elders. They tell of the ill-fated flight across the mountains and how their mighty airships were torn apart. Old lore and surviving data suggests that at least one of the Great Brotherhood Zeppelins was lost in this very region. If it were located, there is a chance the equipment and supplies it contained could be salvaged and returned to the noble purpose for which they were intended. There may even be survivors, but few hold any real hope of this. Only time will tell. All right, and now I'll see you over at the next bunker. All right, and we're back at the new bunker now. Um, there's a lot of splash screen dialogue here. I'm sorry, not splash screen dialogue, but a lot of dialogue here um, that just kind of said that, hey, yeah, there's big people. I don't know if I could face them, right? And so there's like a lot of stuff going on here. Looks like the matriarch's running around um, and there's some people to talk to. So we'll, we'll go through, we'll do some of that uh, dialogue right now. Uh, and yeah, they're talking about some sort of threat is, is all I see here. But I see Paladin Lance a lot, so let's go ahead and talk first to him. <laughs> Looks like the Matriarch is worried about her, uh, her pups. Oh, never mind. So Paladin Matt looks like cool. Your elders are wise, warrior. They accept my brood as recruits. My children wish to show their thanks. It is strange time, no? My young fighting with you and the rest of the soft, hairless ones. Treat them well, and don't feed them flesh after midnight. Farewell. <laughs> Gremlin's reference there is pretty funny. I like it. Uh, she has nothing to barter, as I guess we would expect. Uh, recruits master. They're still talking about how big their buggers are. Very good. And here's Tiduk and Shari. Let's see what they have to say. My greetings, Hero of Brahminwood. I am Shari, captain of the new initiate class. Thank you for saving my home. My dream is to make you proud of the people that you've done so much for. I will try to follow your footsteps. There we go. That's all she had to say. Well met, Hero. My name is Initiate Tiduk of Brahminwood. I understand if you do not remember me, for I was one of many tribals. Your heroic actions that saved my village have inspired me and my sister, Shori. I hope the Brahmin god of battle will allow us to fight side by side one day. All right. And so, yeah, he has, oh, he has money now instead of ring pulls. So now that he's a uh, brotherhood proper, he traded out the ring pulls for, uh, for some cash. My greetings, hero. Yeah, so. Okay. Uh, I was just seeing if Shari had anything to trade. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look while we have everybody here uh, at the quartermaster. Let's do a quick jog around, see if there's anyone else in here. Okay. We'll probably get an introduction from the quartermaster. Welcome, soldier. I am Arugula. Say it with me. Arugula. Good. I'm the quartermaster in charge of this bunker. You know how the drill works by now, so stop wasting my time. You need gear? Then cut the chatter and tell me what you need. Oh, this one gambles. That could be very good indeed. So, yep, yeah, lots of metal armor now in the stock. Lots of ammo for M16s, which I think the AK is still better. 
Uh, and then if we just kind of scroll through here, see if there's anything catches our eye. Uh, nothing really, some extra bullets, uh, MK2 armor if I wanted it, but I, don't, I think the metal armor is almost as good, so I'm not going to worry about it. Save up my money for, uh, you know, when good stuff really starts rolling in. So yeah, nothing, uh, nothing cool to see there. Uh, let's just kind of run through the rest and see if there's anybody else to talk to. Uh, see if there's actually anyone in this bunker. Uh, the recruits master. I can show you the recruit screen uh, while we're here. So you can see here, uh, these are the recruits we have available to us. So some of the new guys are like Martin and Harold and Dylan, Malice, Hurt, Pain, uh, Krilldrov, uh, Creeper, etc. So you can see now we have some death claws and stuff like that. So some of these mutants I'd like to take, um, these ghouls, but uh, I can't really with the uh, the fact that... Oh, actually I might be able to take Harold because he's, he's not a... Uh, glowing one. Look at that luck. I might take him uh, just for a little bit here. He does have traps. I could trade out Stumpy for him. Hmm. And he has throwing. Hmm. Might think about that. Let's see what old Stumpy has to say for himself before I get, give him the old toss. Uh, he has good traps, melee. Hmm. I don't know. Well, we'll see. If I lose Stumpy, I'll grab Harold. <laughs> All right, uh, cool. So yeah, I will go ahead and pause, or no, I think we can run on to the next area here and talk to the general and get our next briefing. Uh, looks like there's actually a mayor or something. Oh, that's the mayor. <laughs> Let's go talk to the mayor. Right. Somebody? Okay, Stumpy. Oh, she doesn't have anything to say to us. Okay. Oh, that's that General Barnaki. That's General Decker. Come in, warrior. Please be seated. My name is General Decker, and I'll be briefing you for this specific mission. At 0900 yesterday, while on patrol, Fang Squad encountered a large contingent of heavily armed super mutants in the region known as St. Louis. They fought bravely against this overwhelming force and managed to radio in a distress call right before they were annihilated. Eight battle-hardened squads led by General Barnaki rushed to the scene and are now in pitched combat with the super mutants. While we were able to push them back initially, our losses have been staggering. As a result, we need to pull our forces out of there immediately. This battle is lost. General Barnaki has requested to have your squad rendezvous with his mobile command center and execute the evacuation of our wounded brothers. I've read your file, and I fully agree with General Barnaki's faith in you and your squad. From your lessons, you should recall that super mutants are genetically engineered soldiers that are strong, tough to kill, and can easily carry weapons that most people would mount on assault vehicles. They are to be handled with extreme caution. You are going into heavy combat unlike any you have experienced before. Remember to follow General Barnaki's direction. He'll get you out safe. Take an APC and facilitate the evacuation of any wounded squad members. You are to get in and get out. No heroics. I want this to be a by-the-book search and rescue operation. Trust in your weapons, warrior. And they will see you home safely. Dismissed. All right. So that's St. Louis. That explains a lot about the... Uh... People all talking about the size of the creatures and so forth. Um... And, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and pile in and we'll get our, get ourselves over to St. Louis and help General Barnicky out. All right, we'll see you over there. All right, it wasn't actually that long of a drive, so let's just go right in. Come in, warrior. Ho, ho! This one's a general by his markings. Keep this one alive and bring him to my inner sanctum. I'll wager there's a lot of information in that shriveled old gray head. Some hot poker stabbing his manhood will loosen up his tongue, I'll wager. It always does. All right, so it looks like General Barnaki has uh, been captured. Um, but we have this thing here, which is wonderful. It's an APC. Uh, AP, oh, wow. <laughs> Look at all that. Okay, cool. So let's actually go... I, I bought some books, I think, from the guy. Yep. And so we'll just go ahead and have Larak uh, read a bunch of them. Alright. There you go. And uh, just kind of get all of his repair skills up and going. 
and I apologize if you hear any uh, baby noises in the background. I have the baby with me today. <laughs> and so I'll pause the game if I need to deal with that. Alright. Alright, I'm back. Okay. So, this is St. Louis. Uh, yeah, I had Lorac read all those books, and now his repair and his piloting are pretty good. Um, yeah. So there's some super mutants immediately there. If we still had Farsight, we'd be able to see that they have M249 saws. Uh, but yeah, you have a lot of trenches and stuff. Oh, this map is so good. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at the Pip-Boy and see what, uh, what we have here. Uh, Tokumata. Oh, that was the guy who talked. Okay. Uh, they didn't introduce his name, so... Ooh. All right, so we want to go to Fang Squad. We want to evacuate Talon. That's the front line. Trenches. Uh, Demon Squad. Okay, so yeah, we're driving around to see where we can find everybody and, and pick them up if we can. Um, okay, so we got... Everybody has their burst you know, single-fire weapons on. This is going to be fine. All right, let's pile into this thing. This thing is awesome. It is slow, uh, but it is heavily armored, and we should be able to just drive right up. So I'll keep an eye on the hit points, but I think we could just drive right up to this thing and... Oh, I ran it into the fence pole. All right. So we should be able to just drive this straight up. Hopefully we don't find a landmine or anything. Yeah, we're doing good. Yeah, APC took a little damage. Get some... Ah, uh, you know what, don't get that. Purple. And yeah, this should be good. Taking some hits on the APC. That was a good hit. But we'll drive around like this. And we can make them dance to the right a little bit. Alright. Lost about 50 hit points there. Not a big deal. That's why they gave us so many repair kits. And, uh, Lorac's pretty good at repairing. Alright. We'll go around and deal with this guy real quick here. Eesh. It does do a lot of damage to the APC. Let's watch it. Okay. No, he doesn't. Cool. So that's the first Super Mutant Encounter dealt with. Um, there's some good stuff in there, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. All right. Okay, so let's see how much Lark can repair uh, for using a repair kit. So 274 is where we're at. And fully repaired, so next time we could do a lot more. You can see the repair kit has so many charges, too. All right, so let's get somebody out, like Mother, to come and loot all this up, and then we'll divvy out some of the good stuff. So they have M249 saws. This is fantastic. All right, and we're back. Let's go over here and just keep our looting go. So that's what I was talking about when uh, I said there's grenades, and uh, you get a lot of grenades when you get grenades. And so, it's pretty good. And you can see we're getting a ton of ammunition with each of uh, the loots. And uh, yeah, it's been overall pretty solid. Alright. Yep, yeah, so let's keep going here. We're gonna go. You know what, actually? Where are you going, Lorak? Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright. Sorry about all that. Just have to get some settings tweaked and I wanted to check the audio versus the APC noises. I think this next part here has some... Um, yeah, Super Mutants up there, but... I 
don't know the best way to handle it. I think there might be some kind of some mines or something uh, up ahead. So what we might do is, you know what? Let's just go up the middle here, and let me actually uh, transfer some loot around. We're gonna give Brian his first big gun. We'll have him just go to town with it. Burn some ammunition. And then, you know what, with Brian though, I'm gonna probably tell him to aim only if he has 66%. Alright, let's go. Hopefully there's no mines. But, you know what, we have an APC. Yeah, okay. That looks like the remains of our squad. There you go, that's the, uh, yeah, critically hit him for 127. Oh, missile launcher. Get him. Alright, so, let's go, 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 go. He's shooting me. And more importantly, he's using my ammo. Training get... squad didn't make it. Salvage any equipment. Recovering the bodies for burial will have to wait. Proceed to your next objective. Alright, here we go. That should kill him. There we go. And APC took one missile. Not the end of the world. Jeez. He took a lot to kill. Alright. So, he said salvage any equipment. So we will. You see Mother has that 325, uh... Uh, 325 carry weight, so we're gonna make use of that. There's some mines. That's very nice. Let's go. There's not one right there. Was that the same one? Yeah, it looks like that's a lot of pieces of them. Ooh. Yeah. There you go, an M60. I love the M60 in this game. Alright. That's going to be probably what um, Lorak will use until the end game uh, when he gets a chance. There's another mutant actually down here. Then what I'll do is if there's any more looting in future areas, I'll probably um, take it off screen. Um, I might go and storm some of this stuff, but it actually looks like it's a pretty... Oh, he was on the bottom floor, wasn't he? I could probably go and like scope the area out, but you know what? We got an APC. That's gonna be enough for us to just roll up the middle and do all of our work. All right. So let's take a look at the uh, M60. Use the 7.62, the same, 23 pounds. Um, and we'll give that to Brian. We're also gonna give him all the ammo. We're also gonna give him all the missiles. Ooh, 50 count. Alright, and so, uh, 20 to 30, and it shoots 10 rounds per shot. Do I not have 7.62? I do. Why can't he use it? Oh, is it bugged? You know what, let me... Unequip it. Oh, he can't use it because this is too weak. But if he could, it does more damage. Um, but I think the song has better range. Yeah, it does. Um, so that's good. I was worried uh, about that, so let's see. Uh, there is a perk for this. It's while he's standing, so I don't know if this will help him. This bracing will help him while he's in a vehicle. So, you know what? I'll use the saw for right now. It's not much of a difference uh, between it, so it should be okay there. Alright, so let's go ahead and save it. I do like me an M60. Uh, looks like there's some stuff down there. I'll probably send Mother to go check that out. And we'll put mines. You can see they always show, show you something with the mines there. Damage. 
right? And it's still a little bit of lead. Let's see, hopefully there's no mines over here. Got these all knocked out. Let's see. Can we angle so we can see them? We can't. But what we'll do is we'll have old Stumpy come out here. Lay down. And then have Stumpy take him out. There we go. Twelve damage. Alright, let Stumpy get back in. Alright, we'll have to repair the APC, but it's doing pretty good. Brian to get out, but I'll wait till the next one. Alright. Duck. And I'm gonna change him back to 33%. This should. I don't know, can't hit him. There we go. So next time we're good. and stitch around. Okay, good. He's down. Alright. Very good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna clear this area of mines, uh, and I'm gonna pause the recording, and I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm back. So I cleared the road of some mines, and uh, we'll go ahead and move on. I also looted up uh, the area, so we'll kind of keep it going. There's a guy with a missile launcher right there, so I'm just gonna drive right at him. You know, just like the, uh, oop, gonna drive it right into the thing. I also repaired the APC, healed about 133, so it looks like it's related to your repair skill. So let's just kinda do this thing, drive right in. Let's see what, uh, ambush lies ahead of us here. damage and I can repair that. No problem. I have plenty of repair kits. Honestly, I'm probably never going to run out of them. So, we're good there. Looks like that's the remains of another squad up ahead. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and scout that trip. Since there's only two guys, I have Mother come out here and move them. I started dumping stuff in the back of the APC since it's going to be ours when we're done with the mission. Plenty of missiles. And, you know, let's, uh, let's have Mother sneak up. She also has good perception of Eve, and so she might find any traps. And if she does find one, she might be able to take it. Alright, so let's see if we find any ambush waiting for us up ahead here. I don't see anyone. We'll probably get the general talking to us here in a second. Uh, there is. So there probably will be an ambush when we get into here. I might have Mother just jump this guy. But what we'll do is we'll sneak Mother around this side. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, we'll sneak Mother around this side and see what she can find up here. Oh, there is a super mutant up there. And one over there with a missile launcher. Okay. We'll keep Mother down there. Um... I kind of want to go up and hit that guy, but... And she found a trap right there. Hopefully I'll remember that. Alright, let's have her lay low. Alright, so we'll have the rest of the team move up. Since it's going to be somewhat long range, we'll switch to our rifles. And we'll go here. We'll try not to activate the missile launcher. Um, if we do... missiles. Here, stitch burst from your shotgun. Alright. Rack. Let's go here. Oh, he blew himself up. Excellent. Alright. I think that's everybody. But I can't be sure. 
person is that guy? There we go. Yes, took a little damage, but not a big deal. Alright, let's repair it. That's why we have the APC after all. So, yeah, this should take us near full. Or, yeah, good enough. Alright, let's get back here. Very good. Okay. My other. Oh, she automatically doesn't run. Well, sneaking. Alright, so let's loot up our initiates here. Or maybe actually these are veteran squads. Yeah, they've already been looted by the uh, super mutants, I think. Okay, so this is super here. Let's get his. Oh, he didn't even have grenades. Imagine being the super mutant they send into combat with only a pipe. <laughs> what, what have you done to deserve that? I do love the speed of the um, uh, of the APC uh, because I do have lead foot, which ooh, a sniper rifle. That's nice. Um, but yeah, I do have lead foot, which increases the speed at which we can traverse. And so uh, yeah, it's quite it's quite fun how fast you go. All right, so hopefully we don't trigger anything, but I guess. Yeah, we're gonna trigger something, but it's alright. At that range, they're not gonna hit anything. And mother is strong. Mm -hmm. So many misses. <laughs> 13 misses. That's, that's just great. Yeah, so compared to like raiders, beast lords, like this is a whole different class of enemy. Uh, and it shows because of just like how dangerous everything is. And this is why they give you that APC here. I might do some shenanigans with Mother, but I'll wait until later to do that. Here, let's go put that onto the rack. I guess I could put the 19 missiles in there to give her some weight. All right, good. And then we'll have the rack put up. Oops. Uh, he does need some ammo, so I'll do another if you wouldn't mind. Okay, um, a little bit. There we go. So yeah, this sniper rifle is pretty awesome. 14 to 36 in a good range on it. It's, it's going to make our day. Alright, let's keep moving. I saw a landmine down here. I bet that area is probably mined. But if we kind of roll up this way, we can probably... Yeah. Just like totally good. Knocked them off. Stitch critically knocked him out. I can't see him. Huh? I'm afraid to get somebody out. But let's go ahead and do that. Um, get him and then see if he can. Yeah, and just execute him. <laughs> get in. <laughs> All right, get out. Now execute him. Oh man, super mutants have good armor. That's why. As you can tell, like, that right there does, like, uh, 14 to 36, and I was doing no damage uh, to him. Alright, so there's a guy still down there. This is where we saw General Barnaki. We have these guys here, so I think we're going to be at a certain point where we uh, can no longer ride in the uh, APC. And we'll have to go do trench warfare, but that won't be so bad. Um, okay, we'll have to go and check out Falcon Squad. Over here. So I'll go ahead and clear out this section, go see the uh, squad up there, and then we'll lead up this whole sector. Let's see, can I just roll right up on him? Yeah, I can. Stand up, buddy. <laughs> this is the best. The vehicles in this game are always outstanding. Alright, let's see. That guy's a shotgun, but it didn't matter. Let's see. Okay, can Lorac hit from here? 
can. Alright, so we can just keep shooting. But I have a 0% chance to hit, so I'll just be wasting ammo. So we'll, we'll get a little fast by by moving up. Alright, so we're gonna do a uh, hang around here. We're gonna go see the remnants of the squad up here. Hopefully I can get through this way. See you once you get around this bunker here. This thing was so sad. Alright, we're back on this side. It looks like actually we did find some survivors. So let's go talk to them. Paladin Solo. It's about fucking time some backup got here. Paladin Solo, commander of Talon Squad. It's not pretty here, brother. They're dropping bombs like it's the Great War. My troops are toast. I'm taking what's left of my unit and pulling out. Don't pull any punches with these muties. I watched one charge face first into some rough crossfire and laugh off the pain. Pull that APC up and tend to my soldiers. I can walk, but my squad needs medical attention. I'm not leaving until you get them on their feet. Hope you've still got a medic. <laughs> yeah, so we can use, I think we're gonna have to use a doctor's bag on them. Uh, which is not gonna be a big deal, but let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so dead ease over here. But we did actually save someone. Lucky us. Alright, so let's get Stitch out. Let's put it in here. Alright. I don't know if I have to use a doctor's bag, but I will on some of the Talon Squad members here. Their service, uh, they, they earned it. Alright. Very weird pathy. Right. Yeah, we would need a tank against these freaks. Right. Cool. And so this should heal them up. Or kill them. I don't know. Alright, so let's talk to him. There we go. that do enough? Okay, well, let's check our pit boy. Let's see if there's any uh, briefings here. Okay. Well, I will go ahead and save it there, and we're just going to kind of like roll the party bus up to the rest of the, uh, the area here. I didn't see anything there, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. I'll loot up all the stuff here, and uh, if there's anything good, I'll highlight it, and we'll catch you when you come back. All right. See you then. All right, we're back. So I looted up, and I also kind of disarmed a minefield around this area. Uh, it was slow going, so I didn't tape it. Um, but yeah, suffice it to say, we got like 30 mines now. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'll just roll up on these guys down here. I think I cleared up to this area here with the mines. So, yeah, and if we hit one, it's probably not going to be that good world. I wonder if Stumpy can find them while he's inside. But what I wanted to do is just make sure everybody was secure. Get kind of nervous. Alright, let's... Oh, we can shoot now. Yeah, there's one right there. Another one right there, so now I think we're safe to drive up. There might be a third one, but I don't think it's going to be the case. What was cool is that you saw some blood there from the enemy. Oh yeah, this is this was a mistake. Let's back up. Let's see. Get everybody, one of our best weapons. Okay, we're still good. 170 hit points, that's why they make uh, APCs the way they do. Got this guy down, and we'll just back up into this guy until he's gone. 
We got enough hit points. Do this. There we go. Excellent. Good news for the party bus. Okay. Yeah, so we just cleared out this little area. Uh, it looks like more of our squad is over here, so let's spin it around. And kind of roll up in the center here. See if we can fight these guys as well. Yeah, first, let's use a little uh, preventative maintenance on the vehicle. Having a good repair skill has been very beneficial here. Um, of course, you know, I still have a ton of uh, good stuff, or a ton of uh, the toolkits, so this thing will never die. Sort of like William Afton. Alright, so let's keep going. Roll right up here. This should be a good place to park the party bus. So, try and waste some of the ammo. Perhaps yeah, she could be okay. Alright. So there was a guy over here in the trenches we activated. Um, what I could do. Maybe I should do some other shenanigans. But I'd have to sneak all the way around to get him, so that's not going to work out. What I will do, though, is pull Mother out and act as bait after I loot up these guys. Yeah. Looks like we're not getting any prompts for clearing these guys or finding uh, the remnants of these squads here. Okay. But yeah, so we'll roll up here. This should get this guy to stand up, unless he died. Okay. And then we could take some pot shots at him. There. Alright, so what we'll do... I'm just gonna go ahead and sneak. She has good sneaking, so we'll see if I can actually sneak up on somebody over here. This could be a disaster. I'm gonna switch to Shred. For her claws. Yeah, that guy can probably ruin our day, but what I'll do is I'll stay ducking, and I'm going to sneak right up on him and just take him down. And then we can see the power of the Death Claw here, hopefully. As quickly as she came, she fled into the night. That's where that 30% uh, damage resistance is coming in handy. Okay, I might be able to maneuver the APC through there, but yeah, it's not really worth it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and loot up that southern area, and then I'll move on into the trenches proper. And then I think we can wrap this one up sh fairly shortly. Alright, see you then. Alright, so we're all looted up. We found another sniper rifle, actually, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and give that to Babs. Um, so she can get a good secondary weapon. Everybody kind of geared up now. Alright, very good. Alright, so Mother, I'm going to leave in the APC just in case. I actually had her eat a bunch of healing powers, and she found a, a box. Uh, so that's where that is. I'm going to have everybody kind of duck get into this trench. Okay, so now we can kind of control the engagements. Um, because we're going to have guys here. We're also going to have guys, I think, in this trench to deal with as well. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to have Trevor run over here. Oh, can you not run under this bridge? Should be able to. No. Can you? Oh yeah, he can't. Okay. So Trevor can't run under the bridge. Um, oh, he can crawl under it though. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, so I'll have him run over here. Yeah, he should be able to get a line of sight on this guy. So we'll have him stand. 20%. So we bought just a smidge. Okay. Um... Next, you know what, I should have, oh, cool, there's a knight over there, 
Um, yeah, I don't really want to get Brian any closer. So what we'll do is we'll have Lorak come over here. And then he'll just start shooting with the sniper rifle to distract him. And then what we'll do is I'll set Babs up over here. Laying down above ground here. Hopefully she can get some good shots in, and then the rest will be uh, laying down there. Perfect. So, move him up. Hopefully the burst fire doesn't hit us. Alright, good. Alright, so what is... Uh, Babs needs a better angle on him, but... It's going to be okay. Ooh, I'd hate to waste stitch, but let's try this. We'll have him come go over here. What we're gonna do, because now we got that guy suppressed, I'm gonna have Stitch crawl up to the edge here, get in this crater, and I think I'm gonna have Brian do the same. And then what I'll do is I'll run Brian around, because right now Lorac can suppress him where he's at to make sure that he doesn't get up. And then if he does get up, we'll be able to stun him a little bit. And then what we can do is uh, we can have Brian and Stitch pop a burst into him and then dunk again really quickly. And then hopefully Babs will be able to, oops, accidentally enter to go into the turn-based mode. I'll have Babs go there. Um, I want Babs on this, but that's all right. I don't really want to get her in the line of fire, so she's probably okay there. All right, so we'll have Brian and Stitch going over here. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll stand them both up. Uh, we'll duck Brian. Okay, we'll have Stitch run in and out. All right, very good. Okay, that worked. I wasn't actually sure that would work. All right, so when, now we can have Lorac move up a little closer. see what he can see. So, yeah, we got that guy suppressed. That might be too close. That is too close. <laughs> we'll have Lorac come over here. And then what we'll do is we're going to have Brian do the same thing we just did. We'll crawl up into this crater here, and then we'll um, let him have it. And then... Oh, I keep hitting enter, sorry. All right. Hopefully we don't get spotted. Yeah, perfect. Okay, good job, Brian. Alright. Perfect. Uh, yeah, Brian, need a stim back. Okay. So we cleared these immediate trenches. And then we'll just have to kind of keep doing that. Ooh, no wonder. This guy had a browning. That's that's awesome. That's what we want to eventually use for our uh, killing weapon. Oh, strength 9. Well, looks like I'll have to take bracing and some other perks, but um, that's good there. So, yeah. I think we're pretty solid uh, when it comes to that. This area. So then, what we could do... Let's see if we move Babs over here, keep her standing. If she can engage a target up here. Yeah, there's a bunch of herders. But yeah, we can't really see them. There's. Yeah, reaching this next section will be kind of difficult. We we'll have to draw them in. Probably set up a firing line over here. Um, okay, but first, let's go ahead and clear the rest of the trenches. Alright, so we'll stand this guy up. Stumpa. I'm gonna disembark mother. Disembark mother. Okay, we'll have her stand too. Can she not get up anymore? I forget it. And disembark. There we go. She was like crushed under it or something. Alright. Everybody reload. Everybody stand up. Everybody in the trench. Okay. 
Very good. And then we'll, we'll go clear this place. Um, I'm gonna have Mother do the sneaking. Because she has the most hit points. So she can also dart in and out really quickly. And she's also the fastest. Okay, so we'll just make sure these trenches are clear so I don't have any surprises when I'm trying to engage anybody. So let's just go and look. Okay, and so far so good. Um, okay, we'll duck here. Oh, there is somebody. Uh, go, go, go. Does he have grenades or is he a melee guy? I don't know. Okay, either way. do is we'll run up some support grenades 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 <laughs> okay so there were a couple of guys I don't know where that guy came from maybe mother didn't detect her because he had the she has the perception of like one because I ate all those healing powders Either way, that should clear this trench. Never crawl under this. Alright, get this guy. Okay. Can't you climb up here? It is a cool way up. Okay. Alright, good. Alright, very, 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 very good. So we'll have everybody run over here. And then we'll just crawl under. And what we'll do is I'll come back when we have the uh, squat set up to shoot up. All right, we're back. Uh, so we'll try and create a bit of a crossfire here between these guys. I'm just going to lure them out by taking a pot shot. And then, yeah, now we'll shoot at other targets as they appear. And then we can kind of get some fire support. Brian's taking some hits. Uh, I'm going to duck him. Hopefully Lorac can... Alright, stand up. They can double team him. Come on. Come on. Alright, did I kill him? No, I don't know about that. Keep Brian standing up. Okay. Alright, so far so good. Lorac and Brian are injured. Have them consume a few stim packs. just in case they take a good hit. All right, so we'll have our burst fire weapon equipped here. Okay, yeah, we did confirm this guy is dead. All right, so he can keep shooting. Let's see, can we move Babs over here and can she get a shot? Okay, let's stop that. No. All right. Looks like we're doing good here. Brian here for support. Looks like he can hit him. Okay. We got some more stuff coming here. I'll Brian duck and start moving his way over this way. And then... I don't know what that guy's armed with. Might be grenades, it might not be. I don't know. We'll see. If he starts making chuck animations... I did see a guy standing up over this way. Yeah, so we'll just keep firing at him. You see Brian's still repositioning here. Uh, okay, so with Babs, I want her to stand up over here. And then I want Brian to run this way. Shoot up this guy. Oh, we got lucky there. Okay. And then that should free up Brian to get a little closer. Yeah, that helps. Alright, we'll have Brian move up. And then he should be able to take some pot shots this way. Looks like Brian took a shot from Lorac, but Lorac moved down this way. Okay, so we killed all of them on this flank. So I think we're doing good. So far, so good. No ammunition left. 
who's out of ammo? Is Brian out of ammo already? Yeah. You burned through it pretty quick. Well, go visit your mother and get some more ammo. Or just visit this guy. Look, so that was like five or six super mutants. I think we gotta do it again on the other side uh, as well. So we'll, uh, we'll kind of go and do that. So while I'm repositioning, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I'll see you over on the other side. All right, and here we go. Let's forgot all about Burke, so let's talk to him. Brothers, I, I thought I'd been left. They got the general. Bastards took him alive. <coughs> they killed everyone else. Wired me up with some C4. It's a trap. <coughs> you got to help me. I know I should have warned you earlier, but... Look, I... I don't want to die. Get this fucking rig off me. Do it, Grunts. You guys are expendable. I'm senior. All right. And so we will. Let's have Stumpy disarm. Perfect. <coughs> they got Barnaby. He saw me hiding and he was screaming for me to kill him. But I just couldn't bring myself to do it. God, I... I had a cleared shot, but I know if I fired, those damn muties may have seen me. Some mutants found me anyway after that. Those bastards were laughing as they tied this rig to me. God, God help me. I should have taken that shot. Hey, uh, looks like Burke killed himself. Uh, so not quite sure what that's all about, but let me go ahead and loot him up. Uh, let me actually see if I can just give that, yeah, give it straight to Stumpy, because Lorac is a little overburdened. So yeah, uh, I don't know. Didn't seem like he was injured, but whatever. Okay, so now we've kind of cleared the trench system north and south here. Now we just kind of got to assault this island, and this island's kind of a wreck in terms of, you know, what it's being guarded by, the, um... The whole thing is, is kind of a mess, uh, when I come to think of it, just because there's not really a good attack path in. Uh, and so we'll find that we go there. So yeah, let me go ahead and save it. And then uh, we'll just cut across. Oop, let's cut across. Everybody. Everybody. I want to make sure nobody's standing in the poison or the radiation, just in case. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and send the Lorac to go do the, the dirty work here. Because um, he has the sniper rifle and he's a good shot. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'll back up towards this radiation here. It looks like he has a 30% chance. It should be good enough on this guy. So let's just have him open up. And can he still see them? No. So I knocked one of them out, which is fortuitous. So... Okay, uh, can I have you ceasefire? Okay, good. Alright, so Lorette can kind of keep an eye on them. In the meanwhile, I'm going to have Babs kind of look around, see if she can see anyone else. Because she has the other sniper rifle and a reasonable small gun skill. Uh, maybe over here? This is really close, though, so I don't really want to risk that. Okay. Let's have Babs run around over here. Maybe she can find somebody else to shoot at while Lorac has that. No? Okay, so it might be clear to go up that other side. I just wonder if he's getting radiated or not. <laughs> um, hmm. Now the question would be is... Oh, you know what? There's just a couple of things here, so... Alright. Uh, let's have old Stumpy duck. Maybe actually crawl. Hopefully he can't... Uh... Excuse me? <laughs> okay. Uh, Stumpy found a mine. He's supposed to find it before, but, uh... Looks like he decided to find it during so yeah I'm not quite sure what to make of that so what I'm gonna do all right here I'm just gonna kind of blind fire my burst weapon over this way see if I can hit anything I can't see how many shots does that shoot? 
five at a time. Yeah, the MP40 is probably a better weapon for him. No ammunition. Oh no. <laughs> I was wasting the good stuff. It doesn't matter. Okay, so... Those guys are kind of suppressed. We'll leave them be uh, where they're at. I think we're going to just find an alternative route in. So what we're going to do is we're going to have everyone hold up over here. And uh, we're going to send Lorak and Babs around to, tie, you know, to kind of do some fighting. If they see anyone. And what I'm going to do is just stay as far away as I can. Alright, so I blinded that guy, so that's going to be good. So I could probably move up a little bit. And I wonder if I can see somebody from here with Babs. Lorak might be a little too close. She can't see. <laughs> Let's back up. Let's get Babs away from Lorak. Put her here. Alright, let me see a way up in this structure here. Alright, cool. So they're engaged. Uh, mother... I don't know. Let's have mother come over here. I'm worried about mother. Oh! You need to duck. You need to crawl. Okay, you cannot see. Um, okay. But, we did see Lorak take a good hit. We're gonna back him up just a little bit more. Uh, eat some stim packs while he's uh, opening up on these guards. I saw another guy down here, so I'm gonna move Babs down to engage with him. Uh, I think we saw him, yeah, right about there, so this is good. Maybe I'll just stand here, see if I can see him. Yeah, and this is going to be pretty slow going, because, uh, yeah. Wow, you can't even sneak, huh? This is pretty crazy. Oh, maybe it's because you're in the light? Let's try and uh, move you here, and then... Okay. Let you regain some of your action points, and then we'll have you sneak around. Uh, we'll see if we can see that super mutie from up here. We can. He might be... Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Run, run, run. Lay down. Gobble up. Gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Okay, good, 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 good. Now run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. <laughs> that's what we call too close. Um, okay, so... Now that she's not in immediate danger. Alright. We'll have uh, that there. So, I don't know if Lorak actually dealt with anyone over here. Alright. He dealt with that. Alright, let's go over here, see if we can see anyone else. This is going to be the dangerous part of his journey. Because he's really close to the walls here, but... Let's go up here. Okay, there's a guy laying down here. Yeah, we should be able to annoy him. Can we get closer? No. I don't want to risk it in case... I might have killed that guy, but I, I didn't get a confirmation if we did or we didn't. So what we'll do is we'll move Lorak up. I think there might be something in there. So we'll kind of angle around and see if we can ride these angles and get access to anyone else. Oh, am I still... Let's go here. I think I can go there. It's kind of weird when we get to this, like, multi-plane sort of stuff. Okay, I can't see. Um, Alright. Oh, no, I do not want you there. Okay, back up. Maybe you can't be hit from there. Alright, eat up a little, another stim pack or two, just in case you take a hit. Alright. We'll move here. This is, like, way too close, though. But, is he just, like, missing, or... There we go. Wow, that mutant has some good armor. Uh, I guess Stitch must have hurt her instead of healed her. Oh, good, I knocked him unconscious. Um, knocked him unconscious. 
So what we'll do is we're gonna send our death claw all the way around. And I think I can rush that bunker and get him without anyone bothering her. Oh, there is still one guy over there. Alright, let's go up, up, up. Hopefully that guy is not in there anymore. Perfect. Oh, that guy is not unconscious anymore. Mother, go. Why aren't you going? Stop. Shooting me. Oh, come on, Mother. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I just, it's because it's the edge of the map, I can't get her off of that freaking incline. Uh, good thing though, because we have all these yummy foods, which I really hope will not kill her. Yeah, she still has 17 hit points, so she might be able to eat some poisoned food. And do just fine. We need some cookies. Yeah, it's helping, right? <laughs> But I just had all this crap in my inventory, and now is a good time to maybe uh, use it. Part of me wants to just uh, get her hopped up on Psycho and uh, Voodoo, and then head her into there. Alright, good. So that ate a lot of the, the riffraff healing that we had, and then we had a bunch of like these healing powders. So I'm just going to eat those for her as well. Alright. Keep going. One more. Jeez. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, Lorac still has 40 bullets. Let's have him... Loot this guy, if there are any bullets. No. Alright, let's go up. And do like Mother did. And just kind of go up here. Mother, I want you to sneak... And I want you to get off the high ground. Because you're going to get shot up. Oh, where to hide you? I guess I'll hide you, like, over here. I don't know. Go, go back down to the lowlands. That's going to be your safest spot. Alright, and so with Lorac, what I can do is just inch him up ever so slightly. Maybe lay him down. Okay. And then... Yep. You might be too close. Alright. You could do some work there. Meanwhile, down here, with this way too close super mutant, what do I do? I think I can probably run Babs over here. And then have her take her shot. Is she encumbered? What are you doing? Huh? Why aren't you running anymore? Yeah, Lorex, you can you can see he's doing some work. Okay, I don't know why she's not running. Oh, she's winded. Uh, I, I don't know if that's worth healing, actually. Ah, well, it, it has to get healed at some point, so... I'll go ahead and use a doctor's kit on her. I wish I knew this, noticed that earlier. Alright. Yeah, they're still doing their dance. Gonna get stumpy over... Alright, good. Alright, and so... Where does stumpy get shot from? Right here? Alright, so then Babs, I'm going to run over here and see if I can get an angle at all. Oh my gosh. That guy is accurate. Alright, good. Okay, well, it looks like the only guy who can actually do any work on our team is Lorac. Uh... He can probably crawl his way into this and get some ammunition. And then use this as his next staging ground to fire down this angle. 
uh, and then work his way through the building. So we started to actually secure some of these positions here. Oh, 20 bullets. Well, 20 bullets is life, I guess. All right. All right. We'll move over here. Reload that. Skip mother. And then, actually, where, where did old Stumpy go? Alright. What I'm gonna do is try and get the dream team of Stumpy and Mother uh, set up. And then... Try and break some of these stalemates that we have using melee. Alright, so... Unfortunately, though, because they have a burst fire weapon and they're firing in this angle, I don't really like it. Um, I can't really do anything to support here. If I had Trevor, I could be chucking grenades up there and maybe seeing if I can hit uh, with any of them. Uh, with Brian, I might be able to do something similar, but Babs just gets, like, executed if she tries to fight him at range. Because this guy seems like he's hyper accurate. And these guys don't have the perception to really deal with a uh, ranged combatant like that. Now, what I could do is take a risk, but I don't, I don't want to take a risk, <laughs> in fact. All right. So we're going to sneak. Oh, yeah, Mother's not up here, is she? We're going to, yeah. Uh, okay. Sounds good. Alright, let's run Lorac back up here. Seems like he didn't actually kill those guys. They're just laying around. Alright, so we'll move him down here. And then we'll send Mother back up here. Okay. See if she can draw some fire. Or... <laughs> that was pretty good. Um... All right, let's have her sneak. And then what I can do, sneak down to here. Hopefully they don't stand. And I'm just gonna loop way around. And then come over here. All right, well, we're gonna pause right at the edge here. How did I miss him that much? There we go. And then uh, we're going to do the old, same with the old Stumpster. But Stumpy can't, you know, like he can't uh, sneak. So what we're going to do is we're just going to run him and pray. Uh, we do have a backup person with traps, but I'd rather not use them if I can. Not right now, at least. Okay. And so with Mother... We can sneak around. Perception is god-awful. Okay, so these guys are dead. Um, okay, so then Lorac can move up and start taking out the rest of these guys here. So let's do that. Uh, so Lorac can move over here. Stand up, and then I think might have some shots on this guy at this angle. Low odds, but you know what? could be worse there is another guy that guy over here that's been a kind of a thorn in our side uh, ever since um, you could throw grenades because what I think I want is these two now I'm gonna run them one at a time I might bring Babs with me as well yeah okay All right. All right, so now what I should be able to do is give some covering fire for Lorac on this side with Brian. I can go grab Stitch and then have him come up to be a pressure uh, person. Looks like you are not close enough. Alright, and 
and then all right yeah and then stitch will come up and be a pressure man uh, for us as we go up here I'm gonna have Brian get up to the high ground over here maybe I'll lay him down I don't know I give him a slightly better chance to hit uh, and then we're gonna have stitch do this this is a very bad idea but we're gonna give it a shot okay we'll have him stay on the outside and as soon as I can get a shot on him I'm gonna right click and then hopefully you can take him out all right, don't you dare. All right, because he's got Lorac. You know what, I need to get Brian up here as well. Stand up. Because what I want Brian to do is stand up from that side and then unload down the corridor, if he can. All right, let's see if you can actually hit him from there. All right, so I'm too scared. All right, so you can. All right, so then let's go here. It's not a good hit, good shot, but it can probably get one or two bullets to cause a stun lock. We got lucky. <laughs> All right. So that clears that area. Now we can move up with Lorac. This is actually pretty intense. Like, St. Louis is no joke, because these guys are insane. Uh oh. They're pushing us on either side here. All right, so just want to make sure that these guys are OK. I'm gonna crawl a little bit. No, no, don't you dare climb that thing. All right, and then Brian, I want you coming down here. I need somebody to draw their fire and cause him to lay down. Just top you off entirely. All right, go, go, go. Okay, you're not gonna take a shot? Come on, you wanna take a shot. Huh. No, 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well, we lost Stitch. I thought he was going to be the one to make it, for sure. Oh, that guy's laying down asleep. You know what? I'm going to abuse this. Let's, uh... Yeah, you see how we're... How Brian is just opening up down, down range? Okay, knock that guy out. There's only one awake here. And that guy is... Strong. Can I have her unsneak? Where is Lorac? I need the rack to get in there. Stand up. Okay, so Brian is going to die. All right, so now we got this guy ranged. Let's fire to just kind of take some pot shots. Oh, 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 Stumpy, no. All right, that guy woke up, that guy is still awake. All right. Oh, there's a storm coming. All right, you need to get ready for this guy, Brian. Come help. Alright, we did it. <laughs> oh gosh. I was not expecting Stumpy to just get insta-gib there from that range, but sometimes that's what happens. Alright, let's reload. 
Alright, so now we need somebody to get an angle on this guy. And I need to do it maybe from over here. Yeah, because I could get a good angle from him, or on him from this, this side, I think. Alright, get some more bullets. Alright. I just need him to return fire, so I don't need a good shot. see him because of the eye beam. Ugh. Stumpy and Stitch. Yeah, at this stage right now, because of our armor situation and um, the burst fire and the deadly weapons that we're fighting, like, it's it's gonna be pretty brutal. Brian ran out of ammo there. And it looks like this guy ran out of ammo killing everybody we know. Yeah, he had a browning, no wonder. Jeez. <laughs> okay. So, we gained 1900 XP. I think that means all the super mutants are dead. Um, I healed up that one squad, but they didn't get out of there. So I'm gonna have to probably pause the recording uh, and then start looting up, get my equipment back from my comrades, uh, ignore this thing, and then um, uh, see about kind of completing the mission somehow. All right, I'll see you when I get back. Alright, I'm back. So, uh, yeah, when I was uh, looting around, I found a uh, sniper rifle. Oh, I'm sorry, not a sniper rifle. I found... Oh, <laughs> I used my stim pack. Um, I found this thing, the XL70E3 uh, Enfield. Uh, looks like it's a reasonably good rifle with a uh, uh, basically good accuracy and range, so... I'll uh, probably be using that uh, in the future, but uh, yeah, so I'm here with the, the Paladin squad, I think. I just need to heal the uh, the one wounded soldier here. Uh, I used the doctor's kit on her, but yeah. And then maybe gotta use it on uh, Paladin Solo as Paladin well. Paladin Solo and there her troops go. are now inside the APC. Drive them back to the evac point. Alright, so that didn't sound like a, a woman, but you know. I guess it's the post-apocalypse who's, who's to judge these things. Alright, so they loaded up in our APC, and I think we're on our way. I'm starting to think the assault um, that I did on that Super Mutant Stronghold wasn't actually necessary. Uh, so, yeah. There we go. Because, um, yeah, I think all we needed to do was rescue the Paladin. Uh, and that was it. So... Yeah, that was just kind of bonus stuff, and I guess the thing you get out of that is a whole bunch of browning M2s and some ammunition. Um, and so it's very useful if you could do it, but yeah, it costs us the lives of two of our people. Uh, and of course my outdoorsmen, right? So so that's just great. Um, I'm hoping the evac point is actually down here. but So yeah, I'm, I'm driving. Where is it? Um, evac point? It's not there. Where's the evac point? Can't be over here, so then I think it is over somewhere. Is it there? I don't know. I never actually explored this area, but I don't think it matters. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Let me check the pit boy and see if there is an evac point. Pilot APC, insertion point, north, yeah, I don't, I don't see, okay, well, yeah, back to this, I think the evac point's probably, like, over by the start somewhere, uh, so I'll just drive her back to the start, and then we'll see, um, what is going on with that. Yep, 
yeah, so overall, uh, kind of crazy mission. I don't know who I'm going to replace my people with. Um, I probably will get a heavier emphasis on big guns um, in the meantime, uh, just to kind of make sure some of that goes away. I might get uh, somebody like another Deathclaw for uh, throwing, uh, but it looks like the Deathclaws don't do a tremendous amount of damage. There we go. Thank you with the Warriors. So we'll hear the debrief coming up here shortly. I'll try not to lose people every mission. Welcome back, warrior. The elders have assigned me to be your commanding officer until we have further news of General Barnaki's whereabouts. Your former superior was a fine general. One of the best that I had the honor to serve with. Losing him has been a heavy blow to us all. The super mutant army destroyed a total of six full squads of our brothers. This is a large setback for the Brotherhood since those squads contain some of our finest veteran soldiers. We shall not forget our brothers who fell in the line of duty, nor shall we let these feelings get in the way of our duty. Rest assured that intelligence searches for the general even as we speak. Until we have a lead on where the enemy is keeping him, you will be receiving all mission briefings from me. Go rest, warrior. You deserve it. After you are done recovering and grieving for our comrades, report back for your next mission. You are dismissed. All right. And so with that, uh, that is St. Louis. It's a terrible place. <laughs> um, the super mutant threat is uh, is kind of fun because it's uh, so real. Like when you get into it, uh, you hear the NPCs talking about how scared and everything they are. And then you go into the mission, you don't really know what's going to happen. And then everybody just gets obliterated. Um, so it's it's kind of a mess, uh, but it's great. Um, so then uh, that will wrap up this episode. Um, thank you, and if you enjoyed the video, please consider a, a like, subscribing, and um, uh, kind of punching that bell for the uh, notifications of additional videos coming through. Um, yeah, I appreciate you uh, watching it uh, up to this point, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm going to pick up a few more uh, teammates, uh, maybe hopefully get somebody else who could do outdoorsmanship. Uh, I don't think there is somebody there, but we'll see uh, if there is. <laughs> so we'll catch you in the next one. All right, later.